Hello YouTube, this is Dahacker13, and in this video I will be giving you all an update about the 4.2.1 Untethered Jailbreak. So in this video I will be covering the current programs that you can use to jailbreak your device on 4.2.1, and I will also be telling you the programs that may come out in the near future that will also be able to jailbreak 4.2.1, such as Ruby Rain by Geohot, Green Poison by the Chronic Dev Team, Red Snow by the iPhone Dev Team, and also maybe a program from Comex. So in this video, I'll be giving you all information about those programs, and like I said before, I'll be telling you the programs that you can currently use to jailbreak your 4.2.1 device. Okay guys, so here are the current tools that you can use to jailbreak 4.2.1. The first one is Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 4, and currently it jailbreaks all devices on firmware 4.2.1, but it is only untethered for the iPhone 3GS old boot ROM, iPhone 3G, and also the iPod Touch 2G non-MC model. Every other device above those three is tethered, unfortunately. Now the second program is Red Snow 0.9.7 Beta 6. And Red Snow 0.9.7 has been in the beta stage ever since um, December, and now it's on beta 6. And the iPhone dev team has only been doing this to make it better and better before final release. And currently, it only is available to Mac users, and it will require your 4.2 beta 3 SHSH blob saved. And it only works for the A4 devices, so the iPod Touch 4th generation, the iPhone 4, and also the iPad. So it is untethered on firmware 4.2.1, but it only works for the three newest devices. So now I'm just going to be talking about the future 4.2.1 jailbreaking tools. So the one that I think will come out the soonest is Green Poison and the reason is is because the Chronic Dev team just released this video showing their 4.2.1 untethered jailbreak and after watching the whole thing it basically does show that they have an untethered jailbreak for iOS 4.2.1 and I'm not going to show the whole thing but if you want to watch the whole video demo of the untethered jailbreak I will put a link in the description down below. Now I think Green Poison, this ver the newest version, should come out in probably one to two weeks. Now the program that we all know will come out sooner or later to jailbreak 4.2.1 is Red Snow 0.9.7. Now currently it is in the beta stages like I said before ever since December and it is now on beta 6 and right now the beta 6 only works on Mac and it does require the 4.2 beta 3 SHSH blob save to use it but I think in probably three to four weeks um, they will release the final version that will work for Windows and Mac and will be untethered for all devices so the next program is Ruby Rain by Geohot now currently this is the most unknown out of all the programs that may come out in the future to jailbreak 4.2.1 and the reason is is because the only information that we have about Ruby Rain even existing is because of the following picture which shows that George Hotz purchased the domain rubyrain.com on March 27th 2010 so we're not even sure if it will be even used to jailbreak 4.2.1 maybe he's waiting to release it when 4.3 comes out you know we it's completely unknown and like I just said we don't even know if it will be even used to jailbreak 4.2.1 but I kinda do have a hunch that maybe George Hodge already has a 4.2.1 jailbreak and it is Ruby Rain and just like Lime Rain and Green Poison Maybe he plans on releasing it the day before Green Poison does. So if the Chronic Dev team releases an ETA for Green Poison, maybe Ruby Rain is released the day before Green Poison does. But, you know, that's just rumors and talk, so it's really unknown when Ruby Rain will ever come out. So the last 4.2.1 jailbreak that may come out in the future that I wanted to talk about is a program made by Comex and there is no name or anything for the program yet but as you can see on the picture there that is proof that Comex may release a 4.2.1 jailbreak in the following weeks because a user did ask him 
So if Apple releases iOS 4.2.5 on 10 February, you'll preserve your new news tool and exploits for that firmware? Maybe this will be a good move. Dev Team and Chronic Dev are releasing their tools for iOS 4.2.1. Yours can be saved for the future. Anyways, thanks Comex. Please answer. Cheers. And what Comex responded was, I hadn't seen that. Interesting. But a month's a long time to wait. Sent from my iPhone. Which clearly says that Comex thinks that waiting a month for 4.2.1 untethered jailbreak is simply too long and that he may work on a program to jailbreak iOS 4.2.1. So we do not currently know the name for this jailbreak, but maybe it will come out in two to four weeks or maybe even up to five weeks, depending on if Green Poison, Ruby Wayne, or Red Snow ever do come out. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video. Remember that if you enjoyed it to please thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and also please subscribe. And if you want to stay up to date with all the 4.2.1 untethered jailbreak news, please subscribe to me on this YouTube channel, and also please follow me on Twitter. My Twitter link will be in the description down below. And in case you want to get even more news and updates, you can follow the devs themselves on Twitter, and I'll have... Um, a few links for some Twitter accounts that you definitely want to follow on Twitter to get a lot of updates about the 4.2.1 untethered jailbreak. So once again guys, thanks for watching the video and see you all later.